So I get these constant questions on my videos as to what mic are you using? What is that? The machine? What is that? What What do you use to make your beats and blah, 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 this and that? What keyboard is that? What mic is that you're using? So I'm going to show you guys everything I have in my studio. Let's take a look. All right, so basically I have a small setup, but let's talk about everything in this small little setup. So as we see, we're using the iMac here this is the 2010 model i believe or 2011 one of those and i have studio one three on it looking forward to studio one four hint hint personas come on baby this arturia keyboard here this is a mini lab this is pretty cool to just have just just doing like basic stuff and you can um assign all of these knobs and buttons to whatever right and then you know they eventually sent me this and so so this is kind of like the 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 brains of everything i use this for everything now so um i have a machine studio here i got the white version i'm gonna be honest i barely use it <laughs> because i have the mk3 now and the reason being is because i've just been trying to lock down how to get this working and, and i've had so many questions as to how to get this working and different functions and features i'm doing more videos in regards to this as a matter of fact there's a there's a, a course that i'm that i have coming out pretty soon just showing you guys like like the ins and outs and what to do how to make dope beats out of this thing and next to it is the machine jam this thing right next to the machine is pretty dope and I'm going to have all of these links available in the description as to everything that I have so you guys won't be fumbling around you just click the link this is the chaotic eyeball it's pretty cool for small setups if you don't have a booth I have a blue mic inside here I don't want to take this off of it because it's kind of a snug in there but um I just um, left this sitting here because I'm using the mic stand for something else to mount my cameras on top of. So this is the overhead camera. I have two camera setups here. That's the first one. Well, this is the first one and this, that is camera two. So I'm doing something pretty new where I'm trying to get two angles. So you guys will see that in my later videos. So I'm just showing you guys now. And again, I'll have the link to those in the description. Um, you see a second monitor, you, you didn't see that in my earlier videos because I went ahead and purchased a second computer, which is a Mac Pro, the older model. Um, this is dedicated to the live stream so that I can stream live without the, the issues I've been having before. So I will be doing more testings um, just to see how that works. Um, I have this thing here, purchased this for this monitor because I'm going to have a second monitor here, but um, this is pretty cool. I like it so far. The next thing is uh, you guys ask me many times, like what mic do I use? What is this on my head? So this is what this is. This is a Shure SM35. It's a, a mic that mounts around your head. It's really designed for sports like um, like trainers, sports trainers. And you mount this around the head and it stays on your head. It's pretty good. I like it. The quality is great because of this one directional mic towards your mouth. You, you kind of avoid any noise on the opposite side of it. So this this is pretty cool. And that's how you guys hear that good mic uh, quality that I have. Along with this, I use this when I'm doing voiceover work because I, I do commercials and um, other um voice voiceover type work I, I use that um so for areas like this open areas i'm telling you guys when you have something like this, this is pretty, this is pretty dope um the next thing is this is old i'm going to upgrade this but if you guys are looking for this is just probably uh it's, a, it's probably a deal on this, this is the mackie big knob um, which allows for um your different uh, monitor setups um, you can currently go up to three monitors so um, I used to have two monitors set up and then my, I had my sub on C. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And you got to talk back. Um, so this is for like, you know, home studios with booth setups. And you built the booth and it's quite a ways from your setup. You know, this is pretty cool where you can use the mic, you know, to talk to your artists and the headphones. 
Um, the monitors that I currently have, this is a, this is a popular question. These are the Personas Eris E5. These things are pretty dope. They have uh, flat response and you can EQ them um, high and low. Um, some people have issues with them and they send them back because they don't know how to avoid the hiss sound. And basically you need TRS cables. And I'll have a link to those in the description as well. But as long as you have TRS cables connected to these things, it will kill the hiss sound, the, the static, whatever, the feedback you guys been experiencing. Um, so these are pretty good flat response. Um, beat makers, be aware, there's not much bass being produced from these because they are flat monitors. And so it, it's the reason why I have a sub that produces the low bottom end uh, dedicated to that but you still get some nice bass like I all of my mix come out punchy through these things I love them this right here is the personas 26 or the 26 however you want to say it it's a USB I just got this uh, persona sent this to me to test out and see how it, how I like it um, you got two um, two mic pre's on it but the total four inserts um, you got two uh, instrument inserts on the back and then you got two monitor outs left and right. It was also sweet about this if you have MIDI. Um, I have, I still have some devices that has this technology, the MIDI ins and out, but you know, a lot of times, well these days MIDI, um, everything has been converted over to USB now, you know, cause it used to be your keyboard with the MIDI outs, and, but now it's, everything is pretty much USB. So don't really have a need for that, but there's still devices, you know, for you old timers out there. Um, hard drives, let's talk about hard drives. This is a Lacey drive back here. This is a one terabyte or 1.5 terabyte. I can't remember, I have two of those. That, the main function of this is so that, let me show you, see if you guys can see that, it's a little dusty, whatever. But the main function of that is so that it, it it holds all of my all of my library content and I store you know stuff here and there on there but as far as like if you if you're working with native instrument the libraries or any other huge libraries then you will need a drive to, to host that or to stream from it that's very important you don't want to put your stuff on your computer this right here it's a portable G drive. I like this thing. This thing is pretty dope. Um, it's the, what is it? The E, E raw, F raw, E V raw G drive. It's pretty cool. I liked it. And you know, I got to put my signature on that. But uh, this thing is pretty cool. Um, I keep it in my bag. This is one terabyte. It's, it's pretty fast. If you're looking for a hard drive, you make sure you get it at 7200 rpms that's the speed of the drive that you need to to be able to work fast you don't want anything slowing in that especially for music production or if you're doing like movie editing that type of stuff um i have the 192 from personas this is the i guess the bigger boy to this they kind of favor the same design um there's a 192 um the actual rack mount this is the mobile version i love this thing it's pretty dope um, the cool thing about this is that it takes on what an interface does. You can plug your mic into it, and actually you can plug in several mics into it, right? But it also takes this. It takes the job of this because you can plug several monitor uh, setups through there. And you can toggle between it through an app in here called the UC Surface. Oh, I forget what it, what it, universal control. Yeah, pretty cool. Big ups to Native Instruments because now I, I can come out of this. So I got my computer coming out of this or out of this into this. So this has an interface inside of it and it works just fine. Even if it's not being used, like it's not in plug-in mode or machine is not up, it's like a, it's, it's a, it's a pass-through. As soon as you turn it on, it, every, everything just works. It's just an interface. It's, it's pretty cool. All right, so then I have a trackpad that I use. I have this set up with the um, the Mac Pro down here and the, um, the I just plugged in a, a regular keyboard. Sorry for the mess or whatever. Um, this bad boy right here, how do you get those clean, 
those clean images those those man your your videos are dope like what camera do you use this is what i have i had i bought this years ago it's the canon ti canon t4i it's the rebel version this is pretty much an entry-level dslr camera but this thing is pretty dope um i am looking to upgrade this pretty soon but it's all about the lens you know that's how you get the quality so the lens i have on here is it's considered a uh what they what they call the nifty 50 but this is a third party brand by uh, uh young whatever i'll have a link in the description but this thing produced pretty great quality so um i'm pretty satisfied with that um then i have a little coffee mug here this is a lens you know i love cameras and lenses and so you know i thought this would be pretty cool i have a link for that as well um the next thing is the trackball the trackball here i thought this thing this is the slim blade by uh by um kensington this thing they have another one and it's a little bit cheaper than this but i love this thing you just you know you go up and down like that it's pretty cool you have four different buttons on it you can like totally customize this thing to do whatever you want press two buttons at the same time it does something um and then you also um set this thing to to um you can customize them by application so in studio one it, it has its own separate custom functions and then if i'm in like a browser or something like that it has a, a separate custom function which is pretty which is pretty dope you guys asked about the stand that holds my machine this is a mixer stand again i have the link in the description but this thing is pretty cool um i bought this when i was using the npc 2000 so i had this thing for years but it's available online i have the link like i said uh, it's pretty awesome you can set it how high you want it and you can tilt it however you need it right now it's flat um so yeah and then you can pull this thing out out you know just set up however you need to in your in your studio i use these headphones these are the akg the k702s and these are the uh, the ones with the replaceable cord so th this this is pretty cool in case you experience any type of um, damage to your cords because you know sometimes we we use headphones to the point that they start experiencing like shortages so you don't have to totally buy a new pair of headphones unless your headphones is damaged but all you gotta do is replace the cable so this is pretty cool for that purpose and i use these because they have open backs these are the open back models and the cups around the ear is pretty large you guys seen me wear these in my video several times um so they are comfortable they have the velour material here i wear these for hours and hours and they never they never and they're pretty light they're like plastic that's the, the material pretty much plastic yeah but the the quality that comes out of here is pretty awesome pretty awesome um open backs are good for mixing so um these are not ideal if you are like um uh, listening to music you don't want anyone to hear what you're listening to you're going to need some close backs but i like those because it's almost like mixing with monitors but the open backs produce the same quality which which i thought was pretty dope then down below is my sustain pedal that's uh linked back here plugged into my to my keyboard here so the key to getting pretty awesome images from your camera when you recording youtube videos is to have something like this i have this here which is pretty cool and there's a big light bulb that goes in here and um, it, it doesn't use that much power at all because they are like those lightsaber things here but this is pretty awesome to light up your situation so that you know in, in case you don't have enough light um where you filming you can always get some of these i bought these as a pair also when filming if you're using uh nifty 50 that camera has to be kind of far away from you 
or whatever and say like you don't have the mic set up and you don't want to go through all of that you know turning your system on and recording your vocals you can always plug in a mic through your phone and use the note app on your iphone or, or whatever phone you're using so i have this mic here pinned on my shirt i've been been using this and it, it is pretty cool because it's a lavalier mic and i'll just put my phone in my pocket near me or on the desk or whatever and record have my camera going and then all i have to do is sync up the audio with the picture and that's how i record sometimes if i don't feel like going through studio one with you know using this mic if i'm doing something simple like this showing you guys you know the setup of my studio i can just plug in this mic through my phone and get decent fair quality instead of going through the the uh the mic through through the camera so yeah this thing is pretty dope it it sounds pretty pretty good to me if you're looking for an awesome camera stand this is what i use it's pretty dope you can also use this as a um you know you set it up like that take pictures photos whatever with your dslr camera i use this to sit my dslr camera on top of this and just aim it towards me it's pretty sturdy this this is pretty dope i like this i've i've started off with that but this is like the upgrade so and then you could take this thing off and set it upside down like if you want to get like like awesome captures like like floor type you know capturing people walking or something like that you know pretty cool effects is pretty dope for that this is the chair that i use i'll have a link in the description for this this comes with a, a headrest that i that used to live on top of here i took it off um but you you know if you need that it comes with that this is pretty dope it, it's pretty sturdy you would think like oh boy you know some people get nervous but i had this thing for about three four years and it held up pretty well it's, you know as you can see there's there's my years speaking for itself but this thing's still holding up it's pretty cool is it breathes so like if you're sitting on this thing for hours and hours and hours and you're sweating or whatever you totally get the airflow you need you know what i mean so it's totally comfortable i like this thing if you're looking for more inspiration to help you knock out more beats or mix or whatever it is, this decal I have stuck on my wall, I have a link in the description for that as well. I promise you this is my model. When I come in this little area right here, I get it done. <laughs> anyway, I have way more stuff to show you guys, but those are the basic, the basic stuff I have in my arsenal right now for media production. It's, again, it's messy over here because I don't have time to straighten everything up, but you get the point. Remember, music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture. <laughs>